untold masses of humanity are teeming throughout the stars. In the grim darkness of the 41st millennium, there is only war. Hello everyone and welcome to Fable Scraps, our Friday show, Doom War. Whoop. <laughs> there we go. Hello everyone. My name is Nicotine. I'm uh, one of the people here at Fable Scraps. If you're listening to the show on Spotify or Stitcher, um, just know that we record this show live every Friday at 3 p.m. Pacific. Uh, our live audience is able to affect the show in meaningful ways here at twitch.tv slash Fable Scraps with the cunning deployment of donations or uh, in exchange for uh, fate points. Our characters are able to use fate points in meaningful ways, such as re-rolls or, um, <clears throat> I don't know, various other uh, interesting things. So um, before we uh, get started, I'm going to go around and help introduce everybody. Why don't we start with Ollie? Hey, doing, Ollie? Hey. Uh, I'm doing good. Uh, my mom got me a new hoodie, but it gives me, like, 80s businesswoman shoulder pads. <laughs> uh, but honestly, it's kind of powerful. Um... <laughs> <laughs> the main thing I got going on right now is that I've just started a uh, new, very heavily homebrew D&D 5e game on my channel, uh, Yarvaskir Mind Over Matter. It is a game focusing the efforts of mind flayers doing diplomacy um, in a very deep, interconnected world, connected to the board game series I've talked about as well. It's, it's a whole thing. That's so awesome. check that out on Wednesdays on my channel. If Ollie sounds good, press ones in chat. <clears throat> Thank you very much, Ollie. It's a good look. <laughs> Next up, we have Lucid Fox. If Lucid sounds good, press 2 in chat. Lucid, how are you? Listen, I always sound good. Uh, no, hi, everybody. Uh, my name's Lucid Fox. I talk about things uh, in the world and sometimes out of the world in a more of a cosmic horror uh, sense. No, I'm just kidding. I talk about politics uh, every day, so that's my life. And then I come here and pretend like things are better. So <laughs> that's pretty cool. Where can people find your content? Uh, Twitch.tv slash LucidFox. Uh, not with one X, that's wrong, but with two Xs. Three Xs takes you to a different website that you don't want to go to normally. Thank you very much, <laughs> LucidFox. Next up, we have Lock the Raven. Hi, I'm Lock the Raven. I'm a variety streamer on Twitch, and I also feature in Fable Scraps' other show, Star Trek Loveless. Every and, Tuesday uh, is at 3 p.m. Pacific. If lock sounds good, press threes in chat. How you doing, Locke? <laughs> One day I just hope to get through a goddamn introduction, but, you know, that's fine. <laughs> it's early. <laughs> you can find me. <laughs> go ahead. It's go time. ahead. No. <laughs> you can find... <laughs> I can... I hear her waiting. I am. Wait, waiting to <laughs> pass. <laughs> You can. F <laughs> I hate you. You can find me on Twitch and Twitter at Lock the Raven, spelled like it sounds. Wonderful. Thank you, Lock. Uh, if Lock sounds good. Uh, as those. What did I say? Threes for you. Three. Yeah, three. Um. Next up, we have Elf, Distracted Elf. How are you? Hello. I'm doing great. I'm looking forward to fighting whatever horrible thing Ollie's gonna throw at us uh, today. Uh, I've been anticipating it for weeks, so I'm ready. Awesome. Where can people find your content? Well, uh, twitch.tv slash distractedelf or on Twitter at distractedelf. The usual spots. Awesome. And that's spelled exactly how it sounds. It sure is. Nice. And uh, last but not least, Enevin. Hello there, I'm Envan, currently wearing a Christmas sweater to get into the season. <laughs> I am a... I am a Twitch streamer here on Twitch, and I typically stream roleplay and VR games. Awesome. How do you spell Envan? Envan is spelled E-N-E-V-U-N. Nice. Thank you very much, Envan. 
Uh, my name is Nicotine. I do a lot of roleplay on my own channel. That's uh, twitch.tv slash Nicotine, N-I-K-A-T-I-N-E. Um, I do mostly Grand Theft Auto roleplay. If you guys have never seen it, I encourage you to check it out uh, pretty much every day at uh, twitch.tv slash Nicotine. Also Nicotine Prime on Twitter. Um, I think we're good to go. Um, why don't you uh, go ahead and take it away, Ollie? We good? Okay. Let's do a big spicy recap. You are aboard the Sibilance, traveling to your destination as a retinue of Inquisitorial Acolytes. Um, through a lot of investigation, you figured out that something's not quite right, and the Gelar field that's meant to keep the warp out of the ship whilst it travels through the warp was deliberately sabotaged ever so slightly. You found out that it was the machine cult who was behind this all along, and you took the fight to them and found what they have been constructing, a kind of almost warp altar. I've described it as a demon heart, combining all the engines of the ship and all of its subsystems into one unholy joining of flesh and metal, metal becoming flesh, trying to summon a demon. It's actually Caius, who for very not suspicious reasons knows a lot about demons, uh, mm -hmm. who managed to decipher all of this, that it is going to be a demon of the blood god Corn, um, spelled with a K-H. Um, now, you guys have already kind of gone through a whole fight against Euron, the Archmagus and leader of the machine cult aboard the Sibilance, and also kind of the, the architect of the Sibilance in general. He's been here for hundreds of years managing it. Um, it was a very bloody intense fight with uh, Euron utilizing a very highly powered las pistol and a set of lightning claws to both blast and slash at you. Uh, Scythia managed to dance around with him quite a long time in a smoke cloud. Scythia is very uh, capable of fighting in pure darkness, while the rest of you turned your focus to the demon heart itself. It's actually a grenade of Yen managed to get inside the abhorrent construction and do some really serious damage to it. Um, right uh, before the end of last session, uh, Risa actually took some very, very bad damage from Euron's claw, as he basically carved a large chunk out of her knee, um, which has sent Risa to the ground, very, very injured, nearly bleeding out, but also put you in the perfect angle to unleash several bursts from your flamer directly into his chest. He's very flammable. Euron is down. Technically not dead, but is slumped into a kind of semi-fetal form, uh, spindly standling on his many mechanical legs as his insides burn and boil, and the cloak around him does as well. Ohm had been focusing on this demon heart and trying to stop it from birthing or summoning whatever was about to come, you did attempt a exorcism or banishment. It was not successful. And that is actually where we are going to continue today as the demon heart completes its abhorrent ritual. I'm going to switch us on to the battle map. And I am going to describe what oh, occurs probably need before... A roll, huh? the bunch of you. Yes, you are going to need to roll initiative. Uh, we'll do that in a sec, because it needs to roll initiative as well. Euron. Uh, the Major's Euron burns beside the lot of you. You have no moment to catch a breath, for Ohm has just attempted to banish uh, what was within the Demon Heart before the flesh and metal started to twist and form into much more of a deliberate shape. Uh, a very large humanoid with some features somewhat like a goat, but a lot of the features are gummy. They haven't quite formed yet, pulling at mechanical tendrils and all kinds of other parts. At this point, the demon is wrenching itself from the demon heart. Huge, terrifying, dripping with blood and ichor, but still very much tied to it. Um, before I make you make wisdom saves, um, there is very much a notable thing. Not just that the demon seems to be equally comprised of machinery and flesh, but even as it's trying to pull itself out of the demon heart, you can see that its arms are these very heavy hunks of brass armor that are coming from the demon heart, emblazoned with uh, demonic symbols. 
it is missing that on the chest. In fact, the chest is incredibly deformed. There is almost an area where the flesh has ballooned and cascaded out. Where a grenade struck the demon whilst it was summoning from Yen's grenade launcher. Where it is incredibly weak. You can see almost the glowing of hellfire within it. There is no chest armor on the demon child as it is uh, coming to existence. Let's start with Caius. Can you please give me a initiative roll? Yeah, not that low. Hey. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's I'm gonna roll good. initiative for. Um, yeah, it's a seven. And after that, we are going to be. You guys are going to be giving me fear checks again. Seeing the demon heart was enough to inspire fear for most of you, but the actual existence of a demon itself before you is a very different thing. Um, uh, something that would boggle the mind of most people. There we go. Just let you know how to do it. Okay. This is going to be uh, willpower checks. It is uh, going to be at a minus 10. Caius, you are actually immune yeah. to this. I was gonna yeah. say I'm I'm good on that. You all you all have your fear test though. <laughs> and Scythia, you have something else oh, no. connected to fear as well, do you not? Or is it only the effects of fear, the insanity and corruption after the fact? So I have uh, jaded, um, but doesn't mm. help me against demons. So it's only like regular fear. Um, yeah, like, yeah, and I stuff. also have that if I gain corruption, I gain insanity instead. That's um, right. But nice. uh, that's not helpful here either because it's a willpower test so it will be helpful because it'll be helpful later presence, <laughs> that's, yeah that's for the sure. mere presence of a demon will will assure you getting corruption points based on how much you fail uh because we haven't really interacted much with corruption points so this is not looking great <laughs> i failed by you. five uh, Friendly reminder that you can use fake points at any time to re-roll a dice yeah uh -huh. I, might, uh -huh. I might use mine's yeah. re-roll for you have seen how horrifying failure of willpower checks can be. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. not great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna re-roll right. that, I think. <laughs> All right, fine, well, let's go again. Who's going first? I don't think it's gonna uh, be any better. Failed by a... one. Yep. Damn it. Edivan has a, has a re-roll, still eh. a failure of minus two, and Cynthia still a failure of minus four. Better than four. minus three. Well. Yeah. <laughs> um. And actually, that does matter, because that's going to affect your shock checks. Um, do we have one from Ohm? Oh, yeah, just a, just a regular failure. Um, and rice over minus two. Okay, so. Uh, can all of you just roll me a d100, just in the chat? So I can uh, tell you how you're affected by this fear. Oh, Yen. Oh yeah. Big is, is that good? No. Oh no. No. Oh, oh fuck no. me. <laughs> okay, no, well, so let's start with uh, Scythia, who has minus four, so that 24 is going to be a 64. Um, Scythia is frozen in terror. You can take no actions until you recover yourself. This is more or less. This is actually exactly what uh, Risa had last time. Um, mm. So you are basically frozen, uh, doomed to spend your turns uh, trying to work out. Uh, this roll. When it comes to Yen, uh, that's going to be 120. Uh, you faint. Yen? Sick. You are going <laughs> to be unconscious for 1d5 rounds. Can you please roll that? Oh boy. Uh, four well, rounds. We see you guys in four rounds. Theoretically, that could be better than being paralyzed, terror paralyzed in terror and having to make a will check. I, I need a 20 or like a 30 to get it. So uh, I think it yeah. is. I'm just going to have a quick uh, nap. You guys yeah. finish the fight without me. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Risa, that's going to be a 91 on the shock check. Uh, you are gripped by panic. You must uh, escape the source of your fear as quickly as you can. Um, you can only okay so there's there's a caveat if you can't run but you can admittedly you're on the ground right now because your knee's been blown out 
your knee being like torn apart actually doesn't affect your movement. You can get up and move fine <laughs> once you stand up. Um, so that's something. And uh, oh, how many did you fail by? Fail by two as well. Same as oh, uh, only failed by one. Mm -hmm. A little bit less actually. Oh but yeah. You're still going to fall unconscious. Please give me a D five roll. So this is pretty bad. Everyone mm -hmm. but Caius is sick in a very bad position. Hey everybody, I'm back. Uh, shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This is where I am going to remind you that uh, for those of you who are already injured in this fight, you can immediately spend fate points to heal 1d5 non-critical damage. Harris is back with the pizza and everything is on fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> what happened while I was gone? Now, luckily, the child itself still has at least a turn before it is able to walk yeah. around. Is that, a, is that a guy? Is he still alive? Uh, is he, so uh, what's, what's he doing? This guy is yeah. burning to death. Uh, Not okay, really yeah, all right. I'll, I'll focus the on The child is much more of a problem. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, All right. Let's start with Yen, if no one's using any fate. Uh, you are just unconscious. Your, your round timer so, goes down. So, question. Yes. Does this count as being stunned? Like, frozen Ooh. in fear. It is shock. Yeah, Which but... Which is not I the mean... same as stun. Mm. I know, right? Because you can use a, a, a fate point to recover from stun. I don't think you can use them to recover from shock. Um, but you can use your fate points to give you bonuses on your uh, upcoming world. Sure, yeah. What was it I wanted to do first? There was something I was going to describe, but we'll, I'm sure sure we'll get back to it. Um, okay. Scythia, you are shocked. Uh, it's a willpower check to break yourself out of it. You can use fate to either give yourself a plus 10 or just re-roll it. I think for you, it's probably just better to try and maybe re-roll or just see what you get. But Let's go again. Uh -huh. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna something. use all my fade up. It doesn't yeah. matter. Doesn't matter. Okay, so you're still shocked. And understandably so. Sure. Even though there is the smoke from the grenade, you're still it might even make it worse. Because you can see flashes of the demon trying to wrench itself. You can hear the sound of metal pulling and twisted in a superheated state and the roars coming from this thing hungry and thirsting for blood you know what i forgot is corruption you have all been uh, exposed to a demon and so you are going to gain some corruption uh you have in met a warp entity and you are going to all gain um, that will be four corruption points, anyone who gains corruption, aside from Scythia, who just gains insanity instead. And, uh, Caius, you actually are going to gain that as well. Even Actually, no, you're not. Yeah, you, didn't, yeah. you, have, you, you don't have any fear connected to it. It's only when you fail the fear. Oh, okay. Um, corruption okay. is in your <laughs> character sheet in the... Uh, I believe it's in the Psychana section, or it might be in journal. Advancements. It's in advancements for some reason. It's in the advancement section of your character sheet. Corruption. Um, let me know if you ever get above ten, but that's surely. What how how much did we gain just now? Yeah. So I'm not gaining corruption. Four, four oh. corruption points. Yeah, and Caius, you're good. You're already okay. way more corrupt than any of these people. <laughs> I am. Uh... The child is still stuck in the machine. It's trying to wrench itself out. Like I said, the roars are horrifying. There's a reason why a lot of you are terrified. This is not just a scary creature. This is an entity from the beyond. Mm -hmm. The knowledge of demons is vague at best or heretical at worst. And actually seeing something coming from the beyond in such a grotesque way, even when you knew it was what they were trying to do, is in a very eldritch horror way. It's almost too much for the mind. Uh, 
Risa, right now you're on the ground. Mm -hmm. uh, you need to use your turn to get away. Uh, that's your priority. Um, uh, so, um, I think I'll, I'll probably, um, I'll probably end up taking a, um, a, using a fate point to heal before I do. Mm -hmm. Can I do that? Yes. Okay. Good idea. <laughs> okay. It is a half action to stand from being prone, which you're going to need to do because you're on the ground from okay. just using a chunk of your leg. Okay, so I'll take a half action and stand up. Uh, roll me a d5 for your uh, fate healing. Two. Two. Takes the edge off, perhaps. And that's from your non-critical damage. And then you must use your other half action to move. Otherwise, you're going to suffer some... Um, even worse fear effects than you already have, because you already suffered fear beforehand. All right, well, I'll just move um, as far as I can away from... Come, come to me, right? So. Mm -hmm. how, yeah, far is, how far is that? Uh, your movement's three, I believe. Three okay. meters, so three squares. I am struggling a little bit. I don't know why. You, you're drawing on the map. I don't know it's what... Fine. I like I don't it. Know I like why. it. <laughs> uh, let's just zoop you down for now. Sorry, thank you. Perfect. Uh, close to the guys. You are still. You can still see the demon, so you're still under this effect. You need to get around the corner around or outside, that. or close. Some have someone close the door uh, for this um, fear to to really be shaken. Mm. Oh, you're just uh, having a little nap, which again, like uh, you said, Elf, it might be a good thing because it means you're not really a target. Now let's get I'll to sleep. the demonologist. Hell yes. Yeah. Let's, let's talk about this. Uh, what do I need yeah. to do to put this demon inside of a new exorcism today? Um, so, when it comes to just purely excising a demon and trying to get it back to where it came from, also help me. Yeah. Um, there are specific banishment checks. Sure. Um, I imagine now, these are uh, based on willpower. They are based on your demonology skill, actually. Uh, that, that works uh, for me, Which too. I believe is more intelligence. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, t -t 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 exorcism. Now, another option is to invite the demon in. Okay, uh, all, right, all right. Another option. <laughs> but for an exorcism, uh -huh. it is a uh, demonology check. You have actually already did this beforehand to know what kind of demon yeah. this is, and you did very yeah. well. So this is going to give you a couple of bonuses. Uh, uh -huh. By default, it is a uh, by default a demonology check is a minus thirty. You're gonna uh -huh. have a plus ten from your previous check to make it a minus okay. twenty. You're gonna have a plus ten from Ohm applying holy sacred oils to it, so a minus okay. ten. And I think That's going to be it. So it's going to be a demonology check with minus 10. This is going to take time. But during this time, the demon is far weaker, depending on your check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, let's find out what happens then. Mm -hmm. uh, so modifier is minus 10, right? It's just minus 10. If you want to use a fate point, you can make it flat. Yeah, you know what? Let's just make it zero. I think that's fair. Now, what you're looking for here is degrees of success. And you got one, uh, which is great. If you failed, nice. you were actually going to get nice. uh, fatigue. So you got a 17 yeah. when you were looking for a 26, which is yeah, a yeah. pretty clutch roll, to be honest. I mean, you know, um, I'm, a, I'm a demon boy. Uh, it works for me. Okay, you need a certain number of successes. Mm hmm. How many how many numbers would that be? I uh, I will tell you when I find uh, out. All right, all right, all right. Um, um a possessed individual may attempt to exercise themselves. This is useful information for Caius to know. I sure, think. in the future. Yeah, um, yeah, if I was just yeah. Uh, 
speak loudly and firmly. So actually, why don't you real quick describe while I'm looking this up to not have so much dead air. Describe yeah. what you're doing while you're trying to commit this uh, exercise. Uh, you know, I just kind of I kind of walked in, I think, from uh, missing out on a little bit of uh, what they, you know, I, I, I guess I was just kind of taking a stroll around after murdering a couple guys. And I'm like, huh. Just like go and set up some uh, some exorcism stuff for me. That's uh, that sure is something. I don't like the look of this demon either. Not not a fan of them. So I think um, I think my first inclination is to just start uh, you know, exercising uh, exercising this thing back to the warp. Now, would you be doing this? in the words of the imperial church or would this be a much more personal thing would it be no yeah no i think this is a much more visceral like personal like nah i'm yeah no no because i i think i'm apart from the the, the church at this point right i'm, I'm pretty oh, much sure. yeah 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 so i'm on my own no, no no this is just uh this is a personal like uh you know i've i've killed one of you you're next type of thing you need two more successes two more successes demon. eh uh, At that point, so the demon two more is degrees of success, you would say. Yeah. Two more degrees of success, yeah. yeah. So it's not just successes; it's it's beyond that. Um, mm, now that's only a half action. Yeah, yeah. In this so combat, I could, I could throw another uh, uh, thing. You could at throw it, another, huh? or you could move closer to you know make it more, make you more of a target rather than. Um, I'm squishy, right you know. I'm not. I'm not into that. But I am. I, you know, I, I, there's a lot of there's a lot of tread between that demon and me. I think. I think we're good right now. Uh, I okay. think I'll drop one more fate point and try to. Well, I'm trying to think of what else I can do besides just uh, just exercising. I guess this is this is probably the best path, right? If you don't want to well, try and fight it, even though it is injured, uh, demonology is the other way out. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I I like the idea of uh, of exercising this thing just to see what happens. So I'll uh, I'll drop one more fate point and do another zero mod. Cool. Uh, which is probably gonna fail, but you know we'll, we'll find out. Hey, you hey! another one degree of success. Almost Easy. exactly the same roll, getting a fifteen, and you needed twenty six. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's gonna be two out of three degrees of success on your demonology. Not bad, there. not bad. Uh -huh, uh, uh huh. Which is really good. Yeah. Um. Needless to say, uh -huh. the demon does not like it. Not happy, uh, not happy, I imagine. For <laughs> you are aware enough that, well, you know, we can call this demon the child. It's been born by this great demon heart. Demons mm -hmm. are eternal. Uh, yeah, yeah. Creatures yeah. created from this malignant force of will in the war. It has maybe even been on the surface before. It's intelligent and it knows what's happening. Even though you're not calling out to the God Emperor and all this stuff, it's much more of a sort of, I've lived this, I know what you are, I know how to defeat you. It's literally will versus will here. It is roaring and pulling and twisting and its lenses that make up its eyes are focused on you. Yeah, yeah, I figured, figured no, it might not be pleased now. That's okay, we got a little distance between me and him. You got a tiny bit of distance. Yeah. Uh, Euron is still just burning to death. He's not really <laughs> combatant. Bye, Euron. Yen. Still unconscious. Cynthia, you yep. can make me a, another willpower. Nope. Well, nope. you know. Man is going to be a failure with four <laughs> degrees. <clears throat> Fair enough. Um, okay. Oh, so, something yeah, I, I was looking up. I was looking up the fear rules just just briefly. Yes. Please. Uh, it turns out if you fail a fear check like this, you also have to take D five insanity just for everybody. Enjoy. Oh, every time <laughs> you fail fear. But yeah. once your tens in insanity get above the fear rating of the thing, it can't scare you anymore. That's right. So, oh, that's right. So you're we actually that. should yeah. give Ricer a whole chunk of insanity for that. We'll go back to that after this battle's done, because Ricer yeah. did a lot of fear checks <laughs> last time we were here. Um, yeah, Phil, please roll me a um, d5 for that. I must have misplaced that. 
I think it's only at the the first check, not like not like every mm. time you fail, but like if you fail a fear check, then. Mm-hmm. Yes, that is correct. Uh, in which case, why don't everyone other than Caius please roll me a quick d5, just so we get it out of the way now. Um, oh, wow. Believe in you all. That's good. Well, not so good, but you know. Hey, listen. Fear, uh, insanity is actually one of the things you can kind of cure, though, in this system. So, eventually, sort of. Costs XP, and honestly, you want some. You want a little bit of insanity in the system. Yeah, uh, that's actually one of the reasons why Caius is not affected by this demon. Mm-hmm. Okay, excellent. With Scythia unable to move, terrorized in fear, this is when the child is going to move. For all of its pulling and twisting and difficulty, once it wrenches free of mm-hmm. the demon heart, the demon moves incredibly quickly. Thus is the nature of demons of blood. They are fast. As it strides, it almost moves too fast for the eye to see. From blood and flame by its side, a incredibly large sword is going to just form almost yeah, out of the, the, the air itself. And it's going to be leaving this long Want trail it? of machinery. And it's going to like whisper to, to Ohm, like, hey, Ohm, block him for me. Huh? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, I'm passed out. Can't hear you. Oh, shit. Uh, I could never tell. You're the only functional party member, Lucid. The only (laughs) one. (laughs) Oh, God. Rice to listen. I refuse Uh, to believe it doesn't walk like a giant toddler. I can't hear you. I'm too scared. (laughs) (laughs) Like, it's just like a really. Yeah. Just Uh, waddles out of the the warp, right? Ready to just cause some chaos. Yeah, yeah. Rice, you just. You just need to get away from it. Yeah. Um, that said, you are not... Uh, the fear doesn't take away your intellect. Um, you are aware that if you just straight up move away, like half action, full action, move, move right now, you will take an opportunity attack from this creature. Oh, great. Which you don't want. Um, but you can use a disengage to move back one to be in line with Caius um, and he can't attack you as that's happening um, yeah I'll do that yeah. okay would you like to use a fate to heal anymore yeah or are I you comfortable yeah I would like to use a fate to heal that's a 1d5 1d5 healing wounds removed that's nice. great Nice. That's really good. Okay. So Unfortunately, this doesn't cure your fear because you can still see the thing. In fact, it ran straight towards you. Yeah. You in this moment, your your lizard brain doesn't know that it's coming for Caius, right? Okay. All you know is survival and this thing is from another realm intending to eat you as far as you know. Um, so you're still going to need more time for that. Oh, still unconscious. Although you only have one Taking more round of that remaining. Poo. Little nap. Caius. Yeah. All right. Well. Ugh. Hot hands at the dice table. Let's see what uh, see what happens here. Somebody gotta be lucky. Ah. Hey, no, you are getting really lucky. Like these yeah, are really. Yeah, I'm. I'm a little concerned about this role. If I'm not. Uh, if, if I'm. If I'm being uh, honest, but boy, shut up what and send happens. it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's let's burn it. Let's burn a third fate right here. Hold on to one for yep. Christmas. And. Uh... Oh. Yeah. So right. that's a failure with five yeah. degrees. Yeah, right. hey, that was that was coming. There it right. is. That's the yeah. luck I was looking for. That's right there. what we were looking for. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I did mention that very bad things happen when you fail a exorcism check. Yeah. 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 yeah that's fair. Uh, you actually just gave it your room key. 
Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Meet me later, uh, pal. You. Oh, this is really bad for you. Okay. Really Wait, bad. can I reroll? <laughs> you can use your last fate point to reroll. I will tell you what happens if you do uh -huh. not. You take a point of fatigue for every point of failure. Uh huh. Now, if your fatigue meets, reaches your fatigue maximum, you pass out. But that wouldn't happen. You would get five points. The way uh. fatigue works, though, you're going to take, uh -huh. I believe, a minus 20 for any attribute that is less than your fatigue, that has a modifier less than your fatigue, right? So mm -hmm. your intellect, which has a uh, modifier of two, yeah. would now be suffering a minus 20 if you, if right, you accepted yeah, let's, this Let's reroll that. Uh, by, by fate. Uh, chat, remember me, you know? Uh, it's okay. You, you, you all know, mine's gone too, or whatever. Lisa, I feel you. All right, all right. I'm feeling this uh, feel this dice roll. Let's, let's see what uh, happens with a reroll. You have let's, minus let's... five degrees of failure right, right now. Well, oh. Sick, sick. Minus sick. six now, sick. rolling an 81. Sick. Uh, that is that so is much be... fatigue. <laughs> six sick. points of fatigue. All right, well. You do not you know. pass out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll take my six points of fatigue, I guess. Good. Yeah, uh, I put them on your token. All right. Uh, well, it's impressive so. that you don't pass out, and worse things would have happened if you passed out. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, that is just a half action, but at this point, right, the demon is within breathing distance. Yeah. The yeah. way that it's warping reality, the warp emanates from it, is starting to make you feel things you haven't felt in a long time and starting mm. to churn your stomach and sure. give you all kinds of horrible memories. It's starting to just wear on your body very physically. Yeah. Uh, well... You still you have know. a half action. Uh, what, how, how weak is this guy? Uh, really quickly, uh, the, the gods have have bestowed upon uh, upon <laughs> Caius and Scythia uh, and Risa two points each. Okay, all Thank right. you very well, much, Mabo, for be the good, deployment. That's very useful for whatever you want to Yo, do next. Load yeah. up that fucking... <laughs> so, so what's... <laughs> yeah, we're so, just uh, sleeping. Let's, yeah, let's let's see. How how weak does this boy look? I mean, I can, I can try to do a check and maybe pass uh, out. But... From your experience, you got a really good role, I just put a couple of weeks ago, on yeah. <laughs> knowing about these kinds of demons specifically. Yeah. Um, while this isn't what is categorized as a bloodthirster it's very similar mm -hmm. right demons despite how the tabletop would have them look are not all that uniform they're very they're not necessarily individual but each one takes on very different forms especially in the way that this one's been created at you weren't here for this but at some point yen actually got a grenade into the demon heart and that yeah. has exploded inside the demon this uh -huh. kind of like left shoulderish area is massive is basically a giant open wound and where the rest of its body is mm. uh head legs arms have a ton of armor its body does not so from a combat perspective you're just dealing with its toughness which is very strong because it's a demon but yeah. it, it has no armor on its body so how's it either how's it, how's it if you feeling want to... against fire is that resistance now here's an interesting thing despite uh -huh. demons of blood having a lot of fire effects yeah. Uh, these reg these this this is a low level demon, despite yeah. how it looks. Yeah. It has no strength against fire. Nice. All right. Well then, let's uh let's let's play the game called I light this thing on uh excruciating fire. Um, okay. What's our psi use to right? Yeah, your psi uh, magnitude is two. You could push it uh, to deal more damage if you wanted. Yeah. I mean. Uh, I guess that is a. That is Every a thing. one point you push it, you get a minus ten on the roll. But if you were to say use a fate point to give yourself a plus ten, All right? You could counter out. It's up to you. Just a, it's a, yeah, it's a you tool know. you have. All right, so let's do psi so use three then. Uh, the modifier. So we'll use a fate point. We got we got two, right? So we'll use one and mm -hmm. still still hold now, on. Now here's one. A, here, here's another point of pushing your psi usage. Uh -huh. Any roll but doubles will cause a psychic phenomena. Yeah, psychic phenomena are not normally great, right? Too. No, it's not, great. Burn psychic it. Psychic phenomena aren't that bad. <laughs> they can become perils of the warp 
which is uh -huh. always bad. Yeah. At this yeah, point, yeah. though, there is a demon in front of you. Yeah, I think uh, it. I think it kind of supersedes, huh? Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Well, let's. I mean, that's a success, right? Yeah. No. Yeah. All right. No. Well, it's a horrible failure. Never mind. Oh no no no! Uh, oh, you've wait, got an eighty-one looking backwards. for a fifty-two. Okay, let's re-roll that, huh? Let's re -roll listen. That? Listen, we we started off so promising. Let's uh, you know, thanks thanks mate for the fate that I'm wasting right now. <sighs> okay. So then I would just be rolling as a two instead of a three. Same thing, yeah. Sick. It's still sick, gonna be a sick, failure. Sick, sick. All you right, are well. unable to manifest <laughs> well. any of your warp powers with well. such an abhorrent creature so close. It's not going to be great. That's the end of your turn. Next up is Yen, who is just having a little sleep. Yen, just All be sleeping. sleeping. <laughs> Scythia, would you like to give me a willpower check? Of course. Here it comes. This one for sure. I feel it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. This is the this is the one. Bam! Game coming on real soon. All you gotta yeah. do is sass the game. Bam! There it snaps is. out of it right away. Yeah. Please back backstab this thing immediately. Unfortunately, <laughs> I believe that is the end of my turn. It is the it's your whole turn well, when you so snap out of it. It's that's it for me. It's right. uh yeah. But Cynthia like comes to and looks like she might help you in a second. Nice, nice. Also, I bear in mind, it. you're going to have minus 10 on the rest of rolls for this encounter just because you're still shaken. Mm -hmm. um, even for recovering yourself. Hmm. Okay. The demon. Hi, hi, demon. You swear that it grins as you falter. As you struggle, Caius, to mm -hmm. return it from whence it came, even with uh, the deep injury in one shoulder, it will just kind of take a lunging motion in which it swings its blade. This is actually much greater, uh, much better for you than if it made a charge attack or anything like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. It is just going to be a normal attack. Uh, nice. Admittedly, it's going to be a normal attack with a pretty horrifying weapon. Mm -hmm. Uh, it is just a standard attack. It has a plus 10, because it's a standard attack. Mm -hmm. Which makes its threshold 60. And it rolls an 88. Nice. So that attack, and that's its whole turn. It had, to, it had the awkward situation of having it to rocked, like, half step, and then <laughs> swing. Yeah. So this did is it... going to be a massive swing cleaving through the metal the grating the pipes all nice. of these things that you manage yeah <laughs> I, like a I nintendo start, boss fight blade gets stuck yeah. yes oh god you're in a tight tight dark souls corridors yeah. Yeah. yeah that's absolutely what happens all right you you're, yeah. you're, you're gonna be on fire next time my little son <laughs> right sir what would you like to do? Um, so explain to me the fear thing. Like, I'm, I have to get to a place hmm. where I can't see the. Ne can I just like turn around? Yes, I can. No. Oh. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, turn your that back. would be. <laughs> I, I like so walk useful. over and put like blinders on either side of Rise. So like, shh, shh, like, you a, can't like see a like a put your like visor down. Horse. Like a horse. <laughs> Yeah, you basically need to get around a corner, or mm -hmm. so there's no there's corners in this room. And yeah, there, there's aren't those poles like right uh, on the other yeah, side? Yeah, these of are demon? statues. Oh, you okay. could yeah. kind of yeah, power behind statue. one of these. All right, yeah, I'll <laughs> sure. go. You got, you I'll got go three cower. points of movement too. Yeah. I'll go cower behind the statue. Put then. a blanket yeah. over her. Yeah, put put a blanket over my head so I can't <laughs> see. So she'll think it's night. I'll go to sleep immediately. <laughs> uh, go to yeah, sleep. if you use your turn getting there, that'll be fine. The demon will get an attack on you as you move. Okay. Do you accept these terms? Uh, can I use a fate point? Like afterwards, can I use a fate point to heal? Or can I use a fate point to heal you now? You can use a fate point to heal now if okay, you're worried yeah, about it. Yeah. I, I am. I'd like to use a fate point <laughs> yeah. to heal, <laughs> actually. <laughs> That's rough, but... Uh, Alright. Do you want to move behind the what's it? 
and then the demon will make a uh, attack. Do they get a plus 10 when they're making reaction attacks? I'm going to assume yes. Okay, same reverse shot as before, but I'm stupid and I added a double plus. Oh, it did it anyway. And yeah. with a That's 65 demon. on a threshold of 60, you just get away scot free. This and you get in such a position. Figuring out the, the, the life. Of course. It, it yeah. Just born moments ago. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, still trying it's, to. It's still getting used to its meat sack. I get it. Yeah. We've all Every been there. swing sends sprays of molten blood and iron. Oh my sake. Is, is it possible to ready a weapon? I have my flamer out from before, right? I still have it equipped. Yes. Yeah. Can I fire yeah. it? Uh. Yeah, yeah, you would. Yeah, for sure. All right. Yeah. Well, I'd like to use my flamer on this thing. Do you get line of sight? Through uh, the that's that's all on me. And this is smart as well. This is why we were using it before. I just remembered is that uh, flamers don't require any roll on your behalf. You just push the trigger. If you have ammo remaining, which I'm sure you do. Yeah. Um, nice, nice. Uh, Please, it's like, all please agility on my thing. behalf. <laughs> um, R.I.P. the Inns character, though. Oh, I can't see Yen's character anymore. I know. I had to. I got the. I got the parakeet cage, cover. Uh, <laughs> this is gonna be an agility check. Uh, it actually does have dodge, but this doesn't. This, this isn't dodge. Um, is he gonna do jump sideways and hit a wall? Okay, so it's gonna pass. It's not gonna take any damage. What? Well, let me check the rules of Flamer real quick. It's been a hot minute since we used it last time. I mean, he is in a tight corridor, just saying. He's a big guy in a tight corridor. It is impressive. And he's a dumb toddler. Uh, and he's a dumb toddler. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, bump those numbers up there. <laughs> okay, I don't think the flame effect is going to hit, but the spray effect probably will. Um, mm. The cover does not protect from spray weapons, which is great. Uh, unless it completely conceals them. Uh, Use your spray. Uh, okay, so it, it on this success, the demon takes no damage from the spray. Um, so do remove, you know, a, a unit of, of ammo, um, but it does not, uh, it's ineffectual. The fire kind of just almost moves around it. Kind of He's also kind of covered in oil. Yeah. You're right. I ain't giving no bonus. <laughs> <laughs> That's the end uh, of your turn, Risa, although you did manage to recover from the fear and everything. Ohm? Mm -hmm. It's your last turn of unconscious. Next turn. Okay. You'll be able to right. get next up and turn do things. Got, next turn, he's doing some real stuff. Yeah. Yeah. This is a. This All is right. very much a system of next turn. <laughs> um, Kyle. Well, me and me and my buddy again, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. Let's light this idiot on fire. Uh, so I you going to... for fire? Yeah. Oh, yeah, try to he's... banish him. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. He's he's going to he's going to be on fire. <laughs> let's find out how much, huh? Yeah. That is. Uh, is that was that you pushing? Yeah, yeah, no, no, no pushing. Just my, my regular side right now. Okay, that's uh -huh. good to know. Uh, so seven, eight, Plus nine, uh, 13 damage to him. 37 is. This is why I'm having trouble. I don't have my DM screen up. I'm like, why can't I remember anything? Because there's a screen mm -hmm. that tells you everything. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't think he can dodge right in the now. doorway. So I mean, he I can't. Well, actually, he can. Yeah. He he, he explicitly could. Okay. Um, all right. All right. But he used his reaction to strike at Risa. So he ah, nice. Um. <laughs> all right. Well, 13, 13 uh, fire damage where it hits. to it my son. It actually hits on the uh, right leg, which is going to be on armor. Uh, mm -hmm. There's no armor penetration. Thirteen damage. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be pretty ineffectual due to the striking the leg. Ugh. The brass you know. armor that coats the leg does glow. 
and mm -hmm. almost start to melt, but then it melts and reforms and only coats more and creates more jagged right, spikes listen, on this thing. guy. What's my what's my role look like if I try the final uh, exorcism? Uh, it I'm gonna would pass be out a if I mess demonology up, so. with a minus ten, but you can. I don't know if you have any other fate remaining to make it any. I don't think I do. Hold up. Well, how much fate do I have? Uh, looks like count. you do have one more fate. Oh, God. You have one remaining. Okay, fine. Rip it, rip it, baby. Let's go. Oh, God. So you're going to make I'm that a, a plus zero? Yeah, I'm going to pass out trying to exercise this demon, huh? I'll miss uh, it. At this point, you, you know that Rice is up and fighting, yeah, right? Yeah, Ohm's coming Sithia's back up soon. And fighting. Yeah, okay. Yeah, All Ohm, right. yeah, the juggernaut of damage. Oh, yeah. and yeah. you're going to please roll me a D10. Back. Yeah, um, you should probably uh, uh, exercise this thing when you wake up. Uh, I, I really don't know how, actually. Yeah, all right, well. Please give me a D10 roll, for that's going to be the corruption points you gain as you pass out. Yeah, okay. Uh... Cool. Easy. That's I'm just pretty good. We're good. Not bad. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Yen, next turn, buddy. Yep, cool. still asleep, just snoozing. You're gonna be so conscious. How long, how long am I passed out for? Do I have to? Oh, you're uh, passed out until you can be <clears throat> recovered. Oh, you okay, don't. Cool. This isn't like their thing where they're passed out for a bit of time. You oh, are okay. mechanically passed out. That's like nice, until nice, someone nice. can get you. Uh, you need basically a whole night's sleep, right? Uh, to pass out from being fully fatigued, ideally medical treatment. Scythia. Okay. Well. Get him now that I am on I'm my injured. feet, let's do this. Mm -hmm. so. Use your on as a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's, He's on, fire. on fire. He is on fire there. Uh, yeah, but dragging a whole person? I don't know about that. Yeah. Uh, well, there is a hot shot pistol pack you can pull off. And, uh, just saying. Oh, pot shot pistols. I didn't even are, think about the, that. The I could have manipulated flame yes. off of Euron. You know what? It's mm. I'll be asleep now. <laughs> well, it's your turn. I like yeah. the little yeah. Everyone else has had their back. sleep. You had your moment. I'm just trying to decide if if that's better than anything else I could do. The answer is Caius is anemia. Are yeah. Not the strongest person. I to... forgot to have cookies and. I mean, and I think juice. the answer is it's better for me to get in here and then for somebody else to do that. Um. Yeah. Since everybody's agree. coming back. Uh, let's let's get in here and do a, a, a hit. Let's go weapon skill. Here we go. Excellent. Do you nice. want to uh, call that <laughs> shot? Because uh, you have no real penalty to it other than... You just have to no, plus 10. Bec no, I can't because I've got a minus 10. I need that plus 10 to make it a yes. zero. Um, That's a good point. Absolutely. So we're just going to make it a standard... Mm -hmm. uh, this should be 10 less than I roll. Uh, so it's actually a 69, not a nice. Uh, not <laughs> a, nice. nice. Uh, that is nice. It's still, it's still not it's good. Still not it. nice enough. Yeah. Still not a 62. Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, and that's your turn, right? That is it. Okay. Now, Bloodthirsters are creatures of hate and bloodshed <laughs> it's not really gonna pay much attention to the little creature that ran up behind it <laughs> it's gonna be paying more attention to the one that just shot fire at it um, uh, listen he's asleep he's taking a nap you don't want to attack a guy taking a nap what's <laughs> that or attack right so. uh-huh uh-huh He shot fire and passed out. He's probably he probably thinks it's weak, you know. The demon is actually going to basically step over Caius. That's it moving away from your range, Scythia, which means you can use your reaction to do an opportunity attack if you wish. It's basically gonna step uh -huh. on you, Caius. Yeah, yeah that's I'll fine. be honest. You get a little trampled. It, yeah. it doesn't care. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Oof. Oh. No dice. No dice. The demon is then going to make a single sword swing at uh, Ricer. Again, just, there's just not enough range for it as such a large creature to get a charge off. So it's only getting standard attacks. 
and it's only rolling trash. Jeez. Well, uh, it's, it's, it's 82 rolling as on trash a 60. as I did. So. God damn, I'm lucky it's yeah. rolling trash because it'll rip, our, yeah. rip us apart if it doesn't. Uh, yeah. You know, the statue of... It's probably a statue of Euron right beside Risa. Just cleaves through it. It's yeah. Making it in turn into a molten puddle of gold. Um, mm -hmm. But you yourself aren't taken out. Risa. <laughs> Do I get an opportunity to, like, counterattack it or anything on that turn? Is there anything I can do to use its failure against it? You can... I don't believe there is a melee counterattack option unless it's a trait, which you don't have. Okay. Um... Yeah, I don't think that's an option right now. But it is your turn, uh, so you can punish it just now. Yeah. Um, I mean, what can I possibly do that's going to inflict damage upon a demon, a hellspawn demon? I oh. have the flamer. Can I can I use the flamer? You can keep spraying fire at it as long as you have ammo in the clip, right? Okay. You can just keep on shooting fire. Yeah, let's do that. Um, it doesn't have any penalty to being so close. Um, oh, it's all me. I was waiting for you. It's all me. He, he just it has quite good agility, which means he's making this not be as a Effective, although that's a failure. I'm saying he's got a good, good agility. He fails. Um, please isn't roll it, damage on isn't your Isn't it flamer. point blank? Do is there? Does the flamer get a bonus for being point blank? None of that. Okay. None of that. That's the that's the kind of the trade off with the flamer, right? It both ignores all the 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 shooting rules that would be annoying, and the ones that would be useful. Yeah. I'm either flying. hits or it doesn't. It either hits or it doesn't. Uh, we have to keep a track. Of if you ever roll a nine, the flamer jams. That's the, the mm. other flamer rule. 12 energy damage is massive. Pen two is pretty good. <laughs> it automatically hits the body, which is its weak point. It is going to have its tough and strong unit like that. Da -da, da -da, da -da. It's going to take that shot. You can be so close, you can uh, unleash a stream of, of fire basically directly at the creature and it's going to be so close to, you can see the 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 liquid fuel of the flamer set ablaze basically just cascading off of it and casting through its warp flesh uh, but it is roaring in pain uh taking a moment to react and kind of stagger backwards i will need to make another check to see whether it's set on fire yeah yeah <laughs> like guys whenever fire is mentioned yeah yeah yeah, Let's right. go. It's not set on fire. Um, but it is oh. very heavily wounded by this. Um, a large amount or of... be destroyed. <laughs> oh, don't don't piss it off. <laughs> yeah, that don't don't, don't, bad. don't quit. Yeah, don't. <laughs> That's only your your first half action, Risa. Do I get another? Toast him again, bitch. Yeah, you have another bit. one I'm if you want to do it again. It. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, shall we? That one's going to be a success. The first spray is enough of it. It's staggering and screaming. After that, though, it manages to move with a surprising amount of speed and grace for such a large, chunky thing. Um, it almost pulls chunks of burnt flesh off of it, only making that large uh, injury worse as it just sees this more effective to just pull the molten metal, the molten flesh off of it. Um, very injured, but not completely taken out. Uh, how much uh, ammo left do you have uh, in the clip of your flamer? Uh, four. Oh, wow. No, three. Now it's three. Yeah. Awesome. Just checking. Uh... Oh! Conscious. On the floor. Well, actually, I, Ohm could be a standing sleeper. I would, I would believe it. Yeah. But still, Ohm didn't fall down. He just sort of slumped over, standing. Uh, it's too in Ohm's, character for me to fight it. Ohm is going to immediately move to Euron. Mhm. Mm and then, uh, hmm. So how on fire is he? 
Like, is he just like a pile of just, is he useless at this point? Interestingly enough, and that's why he's still on the battle map, <laughs> he could be more on fire. It's only really, uh, it's like his internals which are burning. So it means like the arms, legs, the equipment he has are still, like they're damaged, don't get me wrong. But what's the state of his head? You know, the, the the golden mask is probably molten on the underside, which only makes it like scream more, but it's still Specifically pretty Specifically his cogitator area. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's all intact. Okay. Uh, if the fire isn't really that bad, Ohm is going to try to uh, data spike into the cogitator. Mm-hmm. And, uh, well, assuming uh, Euron was the one summoning it, he's going to know what its name is. Nice. I wa that's it's very smart. Uh, I, I, was gonna, I was wondering whether you were going to do that. I'll be honest. I thought that might be an own move. Um, you are going to need a, a tech use check for this. Um, oh, that's fine. It's going to be a minus 10. We've done stuff like this before. Uh, he can't fight back with like active firewall stuff. Okay, and I'll use a fate point to pump that roll if I can. Please do. Alright, so that just brings it to a plus zero. A plus zero, yeah. Oh, come on, buddy. Oh! That's, oh, Jesus! Oh, that's, that's bad! His, his Admittedly, is pain. You were never going to be able to... Probably use another that. Fate to re-roll that, huh? A roll of a hundred on a forty-five. Yeah, you can re-roll that. You have a lot of fate. Yeah, fuck it. Let's do another one. We're do it live. <laughs> <laughs> Anything's better than that. Yeah. But that's not that much better. Uh, uh, the mind of Euron is still teeming. Uh, you do have to work through a lot of the the, the cybersecurity, the seals, the sigils, the right? Bits, all that sort of stuff. So, quick question: Could I unfold my uh, not to use it yet, but could I just get my big old clamp at the ready? Yeah, for sure. That's basically always ready, right? That's all right. Always good. All right. Well, if he's still got enough uh, fighting him to kick around, we'll just. Uh, just pop that head off next round, see what we can do with that. Alright, well, I guess I think that's it for Ohm. Yeah, I think that's all your moves. Uh, real good idea. Caius? I'm sleeping. Out. Yeah. Yen? Wake up. In! Yen, Yen is awake. <laughs> Alright, Yen, yeah. time to fuck. Alright. <laughs> Let's get in there. I mean, I can try with the demon. You hear the roar of Rice's flamethrower and the roar of the demon child. They're not so anyway, I started blasting. <laughs> you have an angle? Your boy I has an angle. I can to get an angle. Wait, do I have an angle? Oh, have an angle from do. there. I do uh, yeah, have I an have angle a, a, a button nice. I can press to basically check that stuff. You've got a hell of an angle. Pew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a blast. Especially if you count that Scythia is small, like, not like a big, chunky person you have to shoot around. <laughs> like, So, I remember where I am, Ollie. I'm just going to move Omen here so I can see the map. No, that's cheating. Oh, shut up. They're in there. I'm not going to free up. I just want to see what stuff's happening. I'll allow it now because it's near the end of the fight, but that's cheating. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm going to shoot my last pistol. Go bang, bang. Yeah, uh, no your range. compact last pistol. Let's not forget that. That'd be short range or standard range? I think it is short range for you. Your short range is very oh. small. It's like seven meters, but yeah. And standard. Mm -hmm. Damn. That is oh. a horrible roll, unfortunately. Yeah. The target was mm. 69, which is nice. The roll nice. was not nice. It was a 99, not nice. not which... Nice. Check something. Does your, Just re -roll that your compact last pistol point. have the reliable feature? Yes. Yeah, special okay. reliable. Yeah. I now need to check something real quick. 
I might use a fate point to reroll that. Are you gonna use a re fate point I, to reroll that? I've got I've got a few to spare. Okay, so I, I was going to check whether they reliable weapons she jammed on a 99 or a 100. It's just a 100. You, you managed to get away with that. But yeah, you can re-roll okay. that for sure. Re-roll. And... Pew! Yeah, yes. That is way better. That is a hit. Please roll damage. Uh, let me check the... Oh, unfortunately, that's not going to be a hit on the weak spot. That's going to be a hit in one of the legs, which are armored. Yeah. But. Uh, seven damage? Yeah. Seven damage is not going to pierce the armored legs. There is a little glowing spot where the the beam cracks from your compact las pistol. Shoot him in the ACL. Yeah. <laughs> He'll never play oh football God. again. He Get pulled him. a hand. There's only one half action, though. <laughs> only half again. action? Yeah, it's only a half action. Like one shot like that. Can I do a cool shot this time? You, I believe, cool shots are full actions. Mm. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll just do a regular shot then. Yeah, so you might as well do a regular shot. It's you're far more likely to hit the body than anywhere else. Maybe next turn, if there is a next turn. Mm -hmm. One way or another. Oh, it's ominous. Pew! Yes. That is a hit. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Body shot. Body? Yes. Pew! <laughs> <laughs> uh, 60, 55. That, in real that is going to be in the body. Nice, Ooh. nice, nice. Four damage. It's it's damage. Damage is dealt to the weak spot. I did something. Yeah. <laughs> and I help. Uh, huh. Scythia. Dab him in the chest. Okay, let's see what I can do here. Mm-hmm. We've... Uh, here. I'm gonna stay here, because that way the flamer is not pointed at me. Um, <laughs> and I am going to swing in with the mono sword. Here we go. Okay. Let's see what we get, shall we? Let's go... Yeah, standard is fine. Hey, yeah. that's a hit. Yeah. With 34, it is gonna try and parry. Okay. It has training. It is going to miss by nine nice. points, yes. that parry, which is Blank. excellent because we discussed before oh, that woo. this weapon would absolutely cut your sword in twain. It that sure is would. absolutely going to be a killing shot due to just the horrend. Like, Jeez. that's a huge amount of damage. It's huge. Yeah, it's a 16 lot of damage. 16 oh, rending boy. two pen. <laughs> it's actually a, um, a, a heroic. Uh, uh, righteous, Fury. righteous Fury, yeah. Um, so it's going to be do going into critical damage. So let's roll Righteous Fury first, right? Okay. Um, what am I rolling? Uh, one second. 43 means it was a strike to the body. Yes, weak point. It <laughs> nice. Um, nice. It's rending damage to the body. Righteous Fury, I believe you just roll a d10 sure. and you just get the effect. So, if you can do that for me real quick. Just a one. Just a one? Oh. It's not no. going to be that dramatic. The ones are usually it's pretty tame. count. Yeah. Uh, you, you uh, gave it a level of fatigue. Haha, <laughs> nice, blood's nice. dead, so... Yeah, it's, dead. it's very yeah. tired. Uh, uh, well, it, it, you know, I was incorrect to say it's dead. Ultimate it's level of critical fatigue, damage. Okay. Admittedly, though, right. it's onto a very large amount of critical damage. That's fair. It's mm -hmm. on... Never mind. Okay, uh, so that's, so we talked earlier, uh, Nika, about how, how critical damage, how much you take, where, where, when you're going to die, when you take critical damage. It's ten. You take 10 critical damage, you're not recovering from it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. The powerful blow reveals the internal organs and spills them into the ground and also sprays blood and ichor into a very large four meter area. Um, mm -hmm. If you want to describe how you do this... I, um, is it dead? I... Oh, it's it is oh, okay. it is defeated. Yeah, <laughs> nice. no, just checking. Demons can demons can lose their organs and keep going. You know, that's true. Yeah. Um, so, 
I think it's just like, the thing has been ignoring her the whole time, basically. And she just takes the opportunity to stab it all the way through, like, in the back, while it's not looking. Oh, like, how yeah. fucking yeah. dare you not pay attention to me, basically. <laughs> like, uh, and, and that's it. Like, just pulls the sword out, covered in gore. Um, she looks yeah. pretty happy with herself. In typical fashion, the demon is going to reach down like the hole you created in its front from stabbing it in the back. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> it's going to kind of try to patch it up, but that only makes it claw into itself more. And as it falls to its knees, its knees it starts to kind of dematerialize. Uh, and with a shriek and sound and creaking of engineering, uh, the metallic functions and parts of the demon are going to clatter to the ground, but the rest is vanished. And you you literally feel the effect of the warp corruption in this place dissipate. Mm. You can feel oh. it like in your bones. Sword, your sword's, sword's gone, right? Sword's gone? Sword's gone. It's sword, it's giant sword. Yeah, that went with oh. it. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. No, you don't get to touch that. I don't want to touch no. it. I don't get corruption. <laughs> I just go crazy. It's great. But hey, you could learn this demon's name and summon it uh, as a sword I mean, or something. There's plenty of plenty of bloodthirsters out there. <laughs> plenty of demons in the warp. Yeah. So they always say, uh, with the demon banished, what would be your guys's next immediate actions? Ohm's going to remove Euron's head from the base of its neck. And, yes. uh, do I need to, do I need that? to wake up now, or? No, you're going to be unconscious for a long, for until like the end of the day. Oh, nice, nice. All right, well, you know, I'll, I'll just, uh, I'll keep sleeping like a little babe then. Once, mm -hmm. you know, somebody slaps well, what's you. Matter, I'd, champ? I'd like to walk over. Out? I'd like to yeah. walk over and and uh, hoist him up and carry him on my shoulders. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Just wandered in, blew some fire spells, and then took a nap. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Exercising uh, takes a lot out of you, you know? So, about those claws Euron had, how damaged are they? Like I said, you know, Euron's equipment is pretty good pretty quality. Uh, I mean, that said, mechanically, they are going to be poor quality for a couple of reasons. Uh, demonic corruption and oh, yeah. fire damage. Um, that but that can be repaired. So the hotshot las pistol and the claws can both be recovered from Euron's body if you wish to do so. Yeah. Uh, did I get to take his head off? Oh yeah. I have plans for that. Yeah. Um. Well. Oh, oh. Stop. Stop having head-related plans. Let's, let's no. This is um like the is third going one. To... <laughs> Take the tech priest's head, uh, the claws, and the hotshot pistol. Mm -hmm. uh, and then... Uh... Rise up. Yes, Mechanicus? Destroy this. And then he's going to move himself out of the way and motion to what's left of Euron's body. I'll just walk over and begin reading him his rights. Nice. <laughs> By holy order of the Emperor, you have been sentenced to termination. And just take my, my, uh, can I get my, my shock, my, my shock mall out? Mm. And just as hard fire. as I can. Oh, fire. All right, and I'll just get up, get the flamer out, and uh, hit up the igniter really quickly, and then just yeah, fall over like a little you're on barbecue. Yeah. Meanwhile, Owen's just got the head to tucked, to tucked under his arm, just hanging out. Just... Nice. <laughs> but it puts his puts his hand in it, makes a little puppet motion with it. Yeah. It makes you're on talk. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, I'm fine. Yeah. Oh no, we've got something planned for him. Now, 
uh, let's not worry about the immediacies, because there are a few steps that you would all know to take next. Yeah. First of all, anyone in this cult mechanic is that is clearly involved needs to be executed. Yeah. Uh, We've also got sweet. wounded we need well, to take care of. Yeah. Wounded need to be taken care of. I imagine you would <laughs> probably go to the medical facility up in the spire. <laughs> That's at the top of the Rice's ship top priority is ensuring that. I thought um, you said yeah. we also have weed we need to take care of. I, I was like, for I a, split, heard that for as a well. split second, I heard that too. <laughs> sure, sure. Uh, All right, guys, we defeated the demon. Help me Time to use this igniter yeah. to light up a blunt. <laughs> 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 Jesus. Um, you still have quite a while in your journey left. Tending to all of your wounds is something that is quite easily done in the next coming uh, weeks and days. I imagine that there is a follow-up in many of the important people aboard this ship. Maybe some people held up against walls and such. Um, but first of all is recovering your wounds. The Chira surgeons up the spire at the top of the ship can easily re return. Uh, they can sort of fix what's injured and uh, patch up bullet wounds uh, uh, right, so you have a whole have my new bunch head. of injuries uh, yeah Ohm can get his skull removed that's a whole separate thing for <laughs> next time nice. um, uh, because this is actually a kind of a good place to leave off before next time where we discuss you guys actually arriving at your destination but something yeah. I do want to go over beforehand is that um uh, the vessel does get a message. Uh, Ohm, before you guys went to actually go and fight the Steve in itself, you sent a message to the Mechanicus of Mars. You mm -hmm. weren't sure whether it went out, but you did try and send a message, and that is going to be followed up on. Right. And you will be updated. Uh, you will be told, basically, by the Astropath's own retinue uh, that uh, a cruiser from the Mechanicus fleet that is in the area is going to be meeting up with us and will uh, have its basically interface with our ship interface with the sibilance just before you would leave to pass there is a note that the inquisitors retinue are to continue their business after uh, some discussion so you guys aren't going to be executed for what you've seen at least it doesn't say that on the paperwork um it's like uh but that's going to be a worry after you guys uh, get to your destination. Uh, I know some people have plans for the rest of the journey. Uh, some of those plans might be executing heretics. Uh, Ohms is getting some surgery. Um, I think just because of the way this session's kind of gone, I think think on them. Let me know if you've got any plans you'd like to do in the next couple of little bit on the ship. And I think this is actually a pretty good time to just kind of leave off because I know we need a short one for a couple of other reasons. And uh, next time we can start with you guys getting to the planet of Pask, honestly, and interfacing with the Mechanicus cruiser that has sent to investigate the Techno Heresy aboard this vessel. Hmm. Well, thank you very much, uh, Ollie, for the, for the, uh, for DMing today. Um, my name is Nicotine. Uh, thank you very much to our uh, wonderful Twitch audience here, specifically Maybun for the donation earlier and uh, all the subscriptions. Um, y'all are wonderful. Need that. Yeah, y'all are wonderful. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Um, if you're listening to the show on podcasting apps such as Spotify or Stitcher, know that we record it every Friday live at a, in front of a live Twitch audience at twitch.tv slash fable scraps. Um, uh, people in our Twitch chat are able to affect the show in meaningful ways and um, yeah, thank you all very much for being a part of this uh, don't forget to follow us on uh, Twitch and YouTube, also our Twitter as well, you can find all those links in the info panels or uh, information uh, blurbs below I'm going to go through and introduce everybody one final time uh, first up, Ollie hey uh Thanks for the, the first little... You were all scared of a demon. It was just fine. You, you handled demon it. demon played like a potato. He's a so. baby. Yeah. You, he did miss like three... Every, literally every <laughs> shot. Yeah. Giant sword attacks. Yeah. yeah. Um, I feel bad. But even just the fear is, is, is enough. We just beat up a um, child. Yeah. yeah, I mean, like, kind of. Yeah, I, kinda, hope, you feel, yeah, I um, hope you feel good about yourself. Everybody. It was like the printer scene from Office Space. 
Yeah. <laughs> Caius had nothing to do to. with it. Caius was asleep the whole time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you can find me at uh, Twitch and Twitter at Oiran. That's O L I R A N T. Um, I've got my own show going on at the moment on Wednesdays. Uh, it starts just before seven BST. Like I said, it's a diplomacy diplomacy focused game where uh, they're in league with the Mind Flayers. It's a whole thing. It's a very uh, deep and intricate world. If you like my storytelling on this, uh, you probably would like that. Um, I also do a whole bunch of other variety stuff and uh, art and all those sorts of things. Um, well, there. thank you so much, Ali. Next up is Lucid. Just a little shout out for yourself, Lucid. I mean, it's Lucid on the, all the places, the Twitter and the Twitch and the Omegle. So just go find me there with the two X's <laughs> and we'll hang out soon. Awesome. Thank you. Next up is Locke. Hi, I'm Locke. I'm a variety streamer on Twitch. And I also play in Star Trek Loveless on Fatal Scraps every Tuesday. And uh, you can find me on social media at Locke the Raven, spelled like it sounds. Thank you. Elf. Hello. I'm Distracted Elf. You can find me at twitch.tv slash Distracted Elf or on Twitter at Distracted Elf, uh, where I do a whole bunch of streaming stuff. I also run uh, Roll20's uh, Rhyme of the Frostmaiden game on the D&D Twitch channel on Mondays. Nice. Last but not least, Enovan. Hello there, I'm Enevan, spelled E-N-E-V-U-N. I'm a Twitch streamer here on Twitch. I play roleplay games and VR games. And also on Monday, I'll be doing a birthday stream. Aww. Thanks. That's Thanks. awesome. Well, thank you, Enevan. Um, my name, of course, is Nicotine. I do a lot of roleplay on Twitch. Uh, you can find me on my own channel doing GTA roleplay at twitch.tv slash nicotine, N-I-K-A-T-I-N-E. I also have a Twitter account. That's Nicotine Prime. Um, thank you very much for being a part of Fable Scraps today. Uh, if you would like to get more involved in the show, or uh, if you have ideas for characters or fan art, or you want to just talk to some of the players and discuss uh, among the community some of your favorite uh, tabletop roleplay uh, uh, items, <laughs> then head over to our Discord. That's fablescraps.com slash Discord. Thank you very much for the subscriptions today, chat. You're wonderful. Have a fantastic evening, everyone. And uh, we'll see you next week. Um, on Friday at 3 p.m. for Doom Lore, a 40k story. Good night, everybody. Bye bye. Night. Bye. Night, night. Untold masses of humanity are teeming throughout the stars. In the grim darkness of the 41st millennium, there is only 